So Lineage OS 22.2 is released. In case you don't know, Lineage OS, when it was released with Android 15, they just told that we are getting something new with Lineage OS, which was not there previously. They'll give you some point updates. For example, the first one was 22.1. Now it is 22.2. That simply means always new QPR update and always a new version of Lineage OS. Previously, it was not easy to find out if there's new update of Lineage OS, which is having some major changes. So here we have, which is having the QPR2 update, April security patch and so on. As it is based on QPR2 update, which is the latest one released by Google, we have some of the new changes available. One of them is this mods feature, which is replacement of do not disturb, which was there previously in Android from a long time. But with this new update, it's replaced with this mods option, which is almost similar to iOS focus mode. So what this does is it is also available as a quick setting tiles in quick settings panel. And we also have this option available in settings. In both ways, you can access this thing. You can create your custom mode. You can choose which notifications you want to receive. You can also choose the display settings. You can customize a lot of extra things. So yes, it's totally up to you. This could be a quite handy feature for some and this could not be a feature useful for some. So it's totally up to you how you want to use this thing on your device. Another thing which is included with this new update as far as I know is related to charging control that we have the option to limit the charging. It's available with the latest Lineage OS update. Lineage OS always focus on stability rather than the customizations and features. But some of the things like in this new update because it's based on the latest QPR update. So the major focus was on some changes which are available with QPR2. For example, the mods feature is one of the main highlights. Everything else was already there, for example, this OTA update. And as you can see, this is 22.2. I installed that unofficial version POCO F5. It's available officially for some of the devices. For example, some Pixel devices already got this thing. And if your device did not got it yet, you might get it very, very soon. For now, this is Lineage OS 22.2. Some of the things which you have to keep in mind while using Lineage OS is the Google Play Store certification device is not certified by default. Because it doesn't come with a Google Apps pre-install, they don't support Google Apps at all. If you install Google Apps on your own, you have to fix Play Integrity, you have to fix all the things on your own. So keep this thing in your mind rather than this is still one of the most stable custom rooms out there. As you can see, Play Integrity meets Basic Integrity. You can fix it very easily by installing Play Integrity Fix as a Magisk module. One of the things which I love about Lineage OS is the camera app, which is actually very good and quite underrated. We have some of the AOSP based camera apps previously while using some AOSP based custom rooms. Things were good, but not outstanding. But in this case, this actually competes with Gcam in some, in some other words, you can say. The customizations, the features are good, but the photo quality, the video quality seems to be quite improved from the previous few versions. So don't miss it. Also, one thing which is also quite underrated is regarding the audio effects, which is a sound equalizer, which is pre-installed with Lineage OS every version. And most of the times, sometimes you need a sound equalizer and that is not present. You install a Magisk module named as Dolby Atmos or something related to that. But audio effects is pre-installed with this one. With the new update, we also have the device diagnostic option available with the Lineage OS version. So for example, this is a touch test. Let me try to do this thing. Through this, you can simply diagnose your device if in case it is having any issues with the display or touch sensors or anything related to that. It's just one of the examples. As far as I know, it's available with the latest update. So definitely you can check this out on a device too. So these were some noticeable changes as it is based on Android 15. So the feature which was there previously and one thing which is actually not available is called face unlock. It's not present in the lineage OS. Fingerprint is there. It's working fine. If you move on to private space, which is a part of Android 15 based custom rooms, it's already part of lineage OS. Yes. And all these things, these were things I just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. A lot of custom room videos are coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.